That was Keith Sweat featuring Cut Close with Twisted, holding our number seven spot in time. Rage Against the Machine for the biggest move up the countdown. Well, you know, the ladies may love Cool James, but unfortunately for the ladies, LL Cool J claims rap to be his first love. Don't tell his wife. He's been going strong for 12 weeks on the countdown, and he holds our number six position today with Lounging. Hey, don't go anywhere because because the show's not over yet. We've got the top five videos on the countdown still on the way. It'd be so silly for you to stay all the way and leave now. Jump. Hey you, we're back with MTV's Top 20 Countdown. I'm Daisy Fuentes, and we have counted down all, but the, okay, holding the number five position, it's a band that has been on the countdown for three weeks, but before we check out Metallica's video for Hero of the Day, why don't we check out what the guys have to say about their new album. That was Soundgarden not moving an inch from the number four position with Burden in My Hand. And you know, you probably shouldn't move an inch either because we've still got the top three videos of the day coming your way right after the break. I am your host, Daisy Fuentes, and the heat is on, you guys, because we're in the final stretch of the countdown, the top three. Nas held last week's number one spot, but he slid two spots this week to number three, leaving the number one spot wide open, which makes things much more interesting on the countdown. Right now, though, let's check out the video that has spent eight weeks on the chart. Here's Nas with If I Rule the World. That was a double shot of Lauren Hill lending a hand to Nas at the number three spot, and then her own band, the Fugees, move up a spot to number two on the countdown with Ready or Not. And, well, you gotta keep it right here because we've got the number one video right after the break, but first, why don't you check out uh, what movies are opening around the country this weekend? Hey, I'm Daisy Fuentes, and I wanna welcome you back to the Top 20 Countdown. Now, before we reveal who wins the number one honors? Why don't we take a quick look back at the top half of the countdown? That's right, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to announce the new number one video on the countdown. Well, these next guys have done a lot of really cool stuff with a lot of interesting people. There's been much hype about them. Their self-titled third album, 311. Um, has gone gold and this week they move into the number one spot on the countdown That's the most important thing of all so why don't we just see what all the fuss is about shall we here's 311 with down Dethroning Nas from his two-week reign 311 moved into the number one spot in their fifth fifth week on the countdown with down and, you know, just in case you were wondering, the top 20 videos are determined by compiling national album sales, video airplay, MTV research, and viewer requests. Hey, don't forget to tune in next week just to see if 311 can hold on to number one, okay? Or just to say hi, okay? Bye. Well, hello there, how are you? I'm Daisy Fuentes. Welcome, you guys, to MTV's Top 20 Countdown. Let me tell you, we've had some dramatic moves on the chart this week, and we've had to say goodbye to the butthole surfers, Tom Petty, and Quad City DJs as well. But now it's time to start checking out who still remains and what three new artists broke into the top 20. In fact, we're kicking off today's show with a hip-hop super group of sorts who came together for this one song. I'm talking about Dr. Dre, KRS-One, RBX Nas and uh, Be Real from Cypress Hill and well all together they are known as group therapy and in a recent interview Dr. Dre stated that he no longer has any patience for the war of words between the East and West Coast rap communities and this track was recorded to dispel the myth that the East Coast and West Coast can't work together and this single has sort of proved that they can. So at number 20 here's a debut from group therapy with East Coast West Coast Killers. All right, that was Group Therapy with East Coast, West Coast Killers debuting on the countdown at number 20. And our second debut video comes from the Welsh singer-songwriter Donna Lewis. And Lewis got her start at the age of six with piano lessons. And by the time she was 14, she was writing songs and recording them on a small cassette player. 
Wow, she now records her songs in a big studio and has since taken the music world by storm, to say the least. Donna just released her debut album, which is called Now in a Minute, on Atlantic Records, and right now she's making her top 20 debut at number 19. Here's Donna Lewis with I Love You Always Forever. <laughs> At number 19, that was I Love You Always Forever. From Donna Lewis adding yet another big debut to our lovely countdown. I bet you don't know what the Smiths, New Order, the Bee Gees, and Iron Maiden all have in common. <laughs> well, they're all from Manchester. All right, so they don't have anything in common. That's also the hometown um, of the band in our number 18 spot. I'm talking about Oasis, of course, and this week on the countdown, we see the boys from Manchester take the biggest fall, dropping seven places. So here's Oasis at number 18 with Don't Look Back in Anger. All right, that there was Oasis with Don't Look Back in Anger, holding strong at number 18. This next band on the countdown debuted at number 20 last week, and they're climbing steadily up the chart. Alice in Chains are notorious for their heavy sound that's often associated with the Seattle grunge scene, but, you know, there's a little more metal to Alice in Chains than most people know. Did you know that their bassist used to play with Ozzy and um, Jerry Cantrell, the band's guitarist, um, actually told of a time when they opened up for Poison? Well, they've come a long way, I think we can say, and Alice in Chains Alice in Chains are up next, holding the number 17 spot with Over Now. Hey, guess what? You need to keep it right here because we've got a debut on the way from a multi-platinum album that's a little hard to swallow. Stick around. Hey, thanks for tuning in, folks. I'm Daisy Fuentes, and I am counting down MTV's top 20 videos for you today. And um, anyway, like I was saying before the break, Alanis Morissette has broken onto the countdown once again with another track from her debut album, Jagged Little Pill. In fact, I should tell you that she just surpassed Hootie and the Blowfish as the biggest new act of the 1990s with sales of Jagged Little Pill reaching 12 million in the United States alone, not to mention 50 million copies worldwide. I hate to say it, but you know, I, I knew this was gonna happen the whole time. First time I saw her perform live, I did. Here's Alanis Morissette debuting at number 16 on the countdown with Head Over Feet. This will be the 10th week the Dave Matthews Band has been on our countdown. The band has been touring constantly and even played a few dates in Europe. In fact, they shared a bill with Neil Young and Bob Dylan at the Zelt Festival in Germany, where the band was asked by Dylan to join him on stage, which, according to Matthews, was a mind-blowing experience. I'm sure it was. Here's the Dave Matthews Band at number 14 with so much to say. My producer, Debbie, thinks that Dave Matthews is really cute. <laughs> anyway, that was the Dave Matthews Band dropping six places on the countdown to number 14. Don't go anywhere, you guys, because when we return, we've got a band that j that's just beginning to bloom right here on the countdown, so stick around for that, okay? Hey you, welcome back to MTV's Top 20 Countdown. I'm Daisy and I'll be here with you until we hit numero uno. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. I could use some pizza. This next band made a big move up the chart this week, jumping four spots to number 13. The Wallflowers had a little help with their latest album, Bringing Down the Horse. Some of the guest artists on the album include the Counting Crows, Adam Duritz, the Jayhawks, Gary Doris, um, Michael Penn, and even Sam Phillips. So you should check out their album if you can, if you'd like to. But first, check out their video. At number 13, here's the Wallflowers with Sixth Avenue Heartache. <laughs> Holding on to the number 12 spot, that was Eric Clapton with Change the World. R.E.M.'s 12th album, New Adventures in Hi-Fi, is their longest album to date, lasting 65 minutes, folks. And the band claims that it's a travelogue because it was recorded all over the world during their monster tour. Well, climbing two spots to number 11, here's R.E.M. with Ebo the Letter. Oh, yeah, and that there was R.E.M. with Ebo the Letter in the number 11 position on the countdown. Don't you even think about moving from that sofa or the bed or wherever it is that you are because we've still got the top half of the countdown on the way, so keep it right here. Hey, you, what's up? I'm Daisy Fuentes, and I really want to welcome you back to MTV's Top 20 Countdown. 
We are at the halfway mark on the countdown, but before we go on, how about if we do a quick run through of the videos we've seen so far, huh? Anything within the blood, these corrosives do their magic so they Well, after dropping three places, Beck still makes the top half, holding steady at number 10. Here's what he had to say about the video, where it's at. All right, well, that was Salt and Pepper moving up one spot this week to the number nine position on the countdown with Champagne. Um, their single from the Bulletproof soundtrack. And um, you guys, I just want to say don't go away because we've got a lot more on the way. Well, not really a lot more, but enough, I mean, a little, including a band that is very political in nature. So please keep watching. Welcome back to the Top 20 Video Countdown. I'm Daisy Fuentes. This next video on the countdown surges ahead seven spots to number eight, making it one of the biggest movers on the show. I'm talking about the Los Angeles Quartet, Rage Against the Machine. So here's a video, People of the Sun. 